Hey everybody, I'm Nicole Cassano. I am a senior director with Color Street and I am also a wedding and portrait photographer based out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And today I would like to talk about getting the most out of your cell phone camera to use for your selfies, your Nelfies, and your Tofies and how you can use those images for your own personal branding. So the number one secret to having a great photograph is having great lighting. So right now the lighting situation isn't ideal. You can see me and that's great, but the background behind me is a lot brighter. So if I were going to be using my cell phone camera to its greatest potential, I would wanna make sure that the light source is directly on me so that my light and my nails or my toes, whatever I'm taking a photo of, has great soft light on it because soft light will also make your skin smoother. So right now you can kind of see like all my wrinkles and the things that I don't like everybody to see all the time but just by simply turning myself towards the light source you guys get to watch it happen suddenly my face is bright the grain goes away in the camera I have some catch lights in my eyes the closer I move to the light source the smoother my skin becomes and the more sparkly my nails are because the light is catching it so you always want to identify your light source first and foremost, and make sure you have good quality light on you. And that's the start of a great photograph. A quick side note, if you don't always have great natural light or if you are trying to take a video or a photo at nighttime, you'll want to get yourself one of these. They're very inexpensive. They clip right to the top of your phone and I'm gonna show you in action what happens when you turn these on. So here I am in not great lighting like in the last video, but with a couple clicks of this light, Suddenly I'm bright and you can see me. I'm gonna clip that right to my phone. Nails are nice and sparkly and shiny also. And here's with the light off. Okay, so here we are inside my camera app on my phone and I just wanna show you a basic function so that you can get a good selfie without using a selfie stick or without um, being constrained to holding your arm in one position while you're trying to hit the shutter button. And that is to utilize the timer on your app. So right up here, I'm gonna to point to it. This little clock, if you press that, it can be off. That would just mean you would take a regular picture with your finger like this. And you can turn the selfie on or the timer on. I'm gonna go with three seconds. So what that means is once I press this button, I have three seconds to really move around and get a great angle to take a great selfie. So I'll just show you um, what I would do in using the timer. So first I'm facing my light source. I have light, nice catch lights in my eyes. You wanna make sure you have those because they are more flattering. You can fix your hair, get a good angle. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and press the, the photo button here and you'll see a little countdown. I got three seconds to make my selfie happen. So I'm gonna press that. And there it is. So there's my selfie. So um, just go ahead and utilize that timer. And then the other good way, reason you would wanna use the timer is to get some good Nelfies. So, um, Obviously, if you don't have the timer on and it's almost kind of impossible to get a Nelfie and hold your phone and hold a cup and a prop and all of that at the same time, right? So you'll want to use that timer. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to press that and then I'm going to angle it so that I get a good Nelfie. So I'm just going to hold on to this cup here. I'm going to press my shutter button. I've got three seconds. And there it is. I can post that on my social media and say, hey, you know, just having a nice cup of coffee this morning with my color street. Okay, so one other tip when you're in your phone app, a lot of people don't realize that you can adjust your exposure. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. If you simply tap on your face, it brings up a little box with a sundial and you can move that sundial with your finger to make your uh, photograph darker or lighter. So the reason you'll want to use this is if you say you uh, don't have makeup on or something and, and you don't have a whole lot of light happening on your face and you really want to get rid of those blemishes and smooth your skin out, you can simply slide that up. You know, you don't want to blow it out too bad like this. You know, that looks crazy fake and nobody can see what's happening. But if you bring it down just slightly to the point where your face is nice and bright and you can still see yourself, but not all the nooks and crannies on your face, 
then that can make for some desirable selfie lighting. Um, again, if you pull it down further, then of course more detail is coming into the frame. So use that um, exposure button to be creative and to get the right lighting that you are going for outside to do a quick tofi so the trick i think for the best tofi is to um bend over and get your camera phone as close to the ground as possible so you're going to kind of go upside down so i'm going to kind of show you what i mean by that so i'm taking this and i'm bending completely over and i'm going to switch my camera around so that my so instead of going like this straight down which you can do that's an okay selfie but if you come a little bit to the side like this and get creative, you can see your phone from upside down and make them look a little bit uh, more interesting to look at. Okay guys, and before we get into editing, I just wanna go over some quick do's and don'ts for the nail fees. So my biggest don't is um, is avoid the claw, the claw like this. This is not flattering. Um, don't take photos that look like this. Um, always clap to your hands, make them look a little softer, more inviting. Um, even, you know, straight out is okay like this. Um, of course you wanna get better lighting as we learned. Um, it's starting to get kind of dark here. So I'm, I'm racing against time to get some, some natural lighting in here for you guys. But I want to show you quickly this. So I have what, um, a piece of canvas that I got at a craft store that I painted gray and I use this as my lay flat. So I just like to arrange some things in the background that are related to color street. And then I can use those as backgrounds for my nail fees. Um, so I would do like the nice collapsed hands or I can hold on to something. I like using either packs of Color Street or you can do flowers or something that maybe matches your the manicure that you have on. For instance, today this came in the mail and I was so excited because it actually matches the uh, colors that I'm wearing today. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh, that's great. So this would be like a really great photograph for my social media. I can say, hey, you know, my manicure matches the new town and country magazine today and take a photo that looks something just like that. Um, but I have a nice clear background when I use this. If you don't have a board handy, um, any plain piece of white paper will do um, or solid color that you can use um, just to use as a nice clear background. You can hold on to a pack of nails for a great nail feed. That's always a great, um, I'm just going to show you like I'm just going this way so the light source is on me and I'm just going to take it like that. That's always great. So <clears throat> I would say mainly just avoid the claw. Do try to involve yourself into, sorry guys, I'm getting notifications on my phone. Do try to involve yourself in the photographs. Your audience likes to see you. Um, so do a nice mix of Nelfies with general backgrounds and Nelfies with you as the background. A great free app for editing. It is called Snapseed and you can download that for free on your phone. And I'm going to show you um, a few quick tips on how you can use this app to edit your selfies, uh, your Nelfies and your Tofies to make them pop and look great and ready to show off to the world. So as you may have noticed, I have not, I don't have the perfect manicure on today. Um, I was actually about to change these out today because I've been wearing them for a little over a week. Um, but I decided not to before this tutorial because I wanted to take the opportunity to show you how I would fix the little cracks in my nails and, and any hang nails or little blemishes or things that you would have on your hands before you would want to show them off to the world. So, um, this is one of the photos that I just took for you when I was demonstrating the nail fees. Um, if you go into Snap Feed, uh, you can hit tools down here at the bottom. And there is a tool here called the healing tool. And you want to press that. And with the healing tool, oops, this isn't going to, oops. Okay. And I'm trying to zoom here. I just want to zoom in. There we go. All right. So I'm zooming in and see where my cracks are. 
I'm going to just use my finger and draw right across these cracks and the healing tool will heal those. So normally I would have never taken a nail fee with a week and a half old manicure on because, you know, we always want to put our, our best face forward what our business is. But if there ever comes a time when you want to take a nail fee and you maybe have a hangnail or a little blemish or something on the nail that is not desirable, you can hop on into Snapseed and use the healing tool. And now I don't have any cracks. See that? And I'm going to hit the check mark to say okay. I'm going to go back into my tools. And even though the lighting was great, I did tell you that I was losing light a little bit. I wish it was a little bit brighter. So what I would do then is go into the curves tool and I would pull up the midtones here and just brighten up that a little bit. See how nice and bright that made it. That's good. And now that photo would be ready to post to my social media. The next thing I'll show you is the, the uh, toe fees. Let's go into those photos. These are the photos that I took while I was taking the video for you guys. Now, my toes are ugly, and I'm sure everybody else's toes are ugly. <laughs> so we want to smooth those out the best that we can. So let's use this one. This one's kind of crazy, and it's up close. Um, it was raining. I've got some raindrops uh, from walking through the, through the uh, grass, but... I want to go in here and I want to fix this up a little bit before I post it on social media. So if I go back into the tools, um, the first thing probably I'd want to do is lighten it up again just a little bit. I like I like my images to be a little bit um, on the brighter side, not too bright, but just brighten it up because then what it does is it smooths the skin out and takes away any blemishes that we don't want to see and then if we go in here to looks um portrait will smooth somewhat but for your in, and I wouldn't go any further than portrait if you were doing a selfie or a nelfy but when you are taking a tofi that's a good time to go over one more and utilize this smooth filter and what that does it just kind of smooths out the toes um it makes them a little bit more camera ready um and that way like if you can see like all my wrinkles and things are not as noticeable on my feet so they make them a little bit more bearable to look at uh, so i'm going to go ahead and save that so the smooth tool is great um again the healing brush if i wanted to i can come in here and remove the little raindrops that landed on my feet um Another thing is like, see right here, I've got some like dry skin. Nobody wants to see that. So if I tap on that with the healing brush, I can get rid of that somewhat um, before I post it on social media. There's a hangnail right there I can get rid of. I'll get rid of that little raindrop. And so I can spend some time and go through there. Um, you know, make sure you shave your toes, girls. <laughs> nobody wants to see hairy toes all that fun stuff so you can just tap that with the healing brush and don't go overboard we don't want to be fake about it and we don't want false advertising by any means but you also want your photos to look um professional and and nice to look at nothing offensive so that one's pretty good i'll go ahead and leave that um, let's see what else I can do, do to show you guys real quick. Like maybe this one. So I took this photo. I have a little blemish there on my, on my hand. So again, I'll take the healing tool and I'll just tap that. And sometimes you can go backwards if it's not perfect. Just tap it. There we go. Pull away. That looks a lot better. Um, and then I'm going to brighten that up. So again, I'll go to my tools, hit my curves pull up the mid-tones just a little bit like that and then if I really wanted to make it perfect I can go in there with the healing brush and um whoops and uh fix up those cracks just touch on those make them less noticeable there we go So I hope you enjoyed these very 
basic tips on how to get great selfies, nelfies, and topies today. Um, if you would like to see how I use the photos that I took today on my social media, feel free to send me a friend request on Facebook. I'm Nicole M. Cassano. And check out my story today, hurry before it's gone. Uh, and you can see how I use the photos that I took right in this tutorial to uh, promote my business. No?